Welcome to WebBikeWorld.com. This is a quick look at the brand new Nolan N86 full-face motorcycle helmet. This is the second of three new helmets being released by Nolan in both Europe and the USA for 2014. For the full review, more photos, and all the details, please visit WebBikeWorld.com. Releasing three new helmets is a huge undertaking for any manufacturer, but it gets even more complex because Nolan uses separately designed helmet shells to meet the DOT and CE standards, unlike many other helmet manufacturers who try to meet both standards with a single shell. The N86 is a full-face design. It's an evolution of the very popular Nolan N85 that we reviewed only about one year ago on WebBikeWorld.com and which was the 2012 WebBikeWorld Helmet of the Year. The N86 has a lot of new features and some improvements based on N85 owner feedback. It has a Nolan Pinlock anti-fog insert attached and the face shield has a center lift tab and a first small position for defogging and city ventilation along with a friction tab for locking that clicks it shut. The face shield has five detents and it removes very easily. Just open it up, push the button on the side and it pops out. Also, just to the rear of the face shield rotator is the lever for the internal sun visor. It's easy to use and it's a simple friction based design that works well. The large chin vent in front has an easy to find slider that opens the slots on either side for ventilation. On top are two new independently operating vents with easy to find sliders and in the rear a new exhaust venting system that flows nicely along with the slightly tapered rear shape of the helmet. The N86 is Nolan NCOM Bluetooth ready. The chamber on the side holds the Bluetooth CPU and the recess on the neck roll is used for the microphone wiring. The N86 has a micro lock chin strap adjustment system with padding underneath and the helmet has a built in chin curtain also. So that's a quick look at some of the features of the new Nolan N86 full face motorcycle helmet. For the full review, more photos and all the details and internal shape and fit discussion, please visit webbikeworld.com. Thanks for watching.